Good afternoon. It's happening again. Another car went up in flames in Roswell. Now police are trying to figure out if it was arson. If so, is it the same person who set fire to more than 20 cars there last year? News 13 Cheyenne Cope is live in Roswell with the latest. Cheyenne. Kim, no one was ever caught for those car fires that came to a stop late last summer. And now people here are wondering if that firebug came out of retirement. After 11 last night, Roswell police and firefighters got a call they got used to hearing last year. A car was on fire in a driveway. The Honda was ruined. We heard what sounded like a fluorescent bulb pop and a very bright light. So we looked out the window. We thought it was lightning hitting the tree, but my husband said, it's their car, it's on fire. Autumn Breeden called 911 and took a fire extinguisher outside to her neighbor who was trying to put the fire out. This street is an incredible street. All our neighbors came out and helped, and uh, we did what a neighborhood was supposed to do. But this isn't anything new here in Roswell. Last year, more than 20 cars were set ablaze in a string of arson attacks. Most of them torched in people's driveways at night. No one was ever caught. But police can't say yet if this incident is related. Since the investigation is so early right now, we no connections have been made to any other former uh, arson cases. Right now, investigators are still trying to pinpoint how the fire started. Now, those car fires were such a big deal last year that police were running radio ads looking for tips to help solve that case. And there's still a $1,000 reward out there, too. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Cheyenne. Now, the owners of the Honda were teachers. The husband recently gave it to his wife as an anniversary gift.